Coburg Farmers Market. Today we're cooking up a really simple a homage to the end of winter and the start of spring. So today I'm thinking I want to make a risotto. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking the roast vegetables. I'm thinking the carrots look amazing. Roast carrots, yeah. I might use some carrots. Rosa Mitchell had some last weekend at the farm and she said it was like the way one tells supposed to taste. Yeah, I would love some walnuts. I'm going to have a simple walnut yeah. pesto that would go on top. Now, Angus, this is one really step higher. I would, I would use this one. I do use this one in cooking. It's a terrific marinade of meat. What's in season are these beautiful Dutch carrots of all different colours. So we're going to roast these up with a few other veggies as well. So to our roasting dish, we're going to add some garlic. Really like that richness that you get from roasted sweet garlic. Got some sea salt flakes to that as well. Some fresh rosemary sprigs. We need to grind up some peppercorns. We've got some gorgeous olive oil that we're using today. So this one here is from Lazura Hill. So I'm going to try and be modest with this because I do tend to overuse olive oil. So that dish is all ready to go in the oven. So you want to roast these carrots until nice and tender and golden on the outside. But this celery is just the last of the winter celery. So it's nice and small, um, really quite thin, and it's very sweet. So that's gonna go in with the leek at the base. Okay, so this is our base to the risotto. Really simple, nice and green, but we're gonna caramelize them down again. Yeah, you could measure it, but I'm just gonna go with about half a jar, which is probably two, two and a half cups. All right, so this, I would argue, is the most important part of a risotto. Where that you wanna put your dry goods in, and you want to cook it down until it's absorbed everything in the pan before you add more liquid. Then you get your wine. So we've had our fun with the wine. And again, it's dry. So that's what you're looking for. Um, so we're going to start now by adding stock, but first we want to start adding those carrots in. Let's mix that through. So I made my own vegetable stock for this one. You want to add about a cup at a time and always, again, mixing it through. So this is where the process comes in. Risotto is a bit of a workout, but it's worth it. So I'm going against pretty much every Italian in the world by making a pesto with walnuts and parsley instead of pine nuts and basil. All right, lemon juice. Well, that's enough. I was gonna say about the juice of a whole lemon, but a juice of one very <laughs> juicy half lemon will do, will do just fine. All right, so I've just put in some of the Milla uh, Capricornia which is a goat's parmesan, essentially. Really nice and bitey. All right, thank you so much for your help. You're Amazing. Didn't, <laughs> all the legwork has been done for me. Oh, that looks good. All right, so we're gonna open the amazing guantacal and we're gonna put all of that straight on the grill. Um, and the reason we're choosing this one is because the fat has had to work really hard. This muscle is worked all the time. So that meat is gonna have lots of flavor, but the fat is gonna have lots of flavor as well. Well, finished. I've got some little taste testers here. Do you want to try some risotto, girls? Yeah, got that. Mm. Mm. They are. They are. Yeah, they are. Oh my god. Oh, one Charlie. One Charlie. One Charlie. One Charlie. <laughs> That's pesto. It's a walnut pesto with um, parsley. Nice. Yeah, very good. Did alright? Perfect. If I do say so myself.